Hello, my name is Chris Dale, and here we are with the Natas Web Challenges at OverTheWire.org. We're level 12 now, and um, looks like we have some kind of file uploading uh, functionality here that we want to test. So before trying to hack anything, before even looking at the source code, if we need it or not, we'll decide. Uh, let's see if we can if we can figure out what this what this tool does here. So here's my desktop. We don't have my downloads folder here. Uh, we need a picture to upload. So what I'll do is I'll create a picture um, that is hopefully smaller than one one kilobyte. So let's make a JPEG here. Do a little test.jpg JPEG JPG. And we should be able to test this file upload functionality here. Download, test, upload this file. And it worked. All right, cool. So we got our black image opened up here. Uh, if I open up this in a new tab, can I browse the uploads directory? No, forbidden. So that's, that's great news. So I'm guessing this has something to do with file uploading then, right? Some kind of vulnerability that goes with uploading this file. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload the image again. And we're going to capture the request in our birth suit project here. And we can see this is the current contents of our JPEG. Uh, interesting tidbits of view. Uh, we have the maximum file size here in a client size script. That's not necessarily a good idea. We have a file line here, which is funny because why would you why would you give a file line on a client side and send it server side? Because we also have it in the content disposition here. We have the file line. Uh, and then we have the contents of the file. So the first thing I want to try here, just to to see if I can get working, is change this to PHP. Change this to PHP. Might not need to change both, we'll see. Change this to a content disposition type of uh, application PHP. And then remove the picture, replace it with PHP code. So what type of PHP code do we want? Well, why don't we get the results of the following commands, like a pass through. And so let's see, pass through, this is our PHP code. So what type of command do we want to pass through to the operating system? What type of command do we want to send here to the Linux subsystem here, or the OS? Uh, something along the lines like cat, at the C, natas, web pass. Not that certain. That should be able to give us the, uh, the, the, the password to the next level. How do I know this, by the way? How do I know the not as that pass is the correct folder? Well, we got it in one of the previous challenges. We got that as a hint in the previous challenges that this is where all the passwords for the next challenges are at. So our source code looks good here. Change this, change this. We have some PHP code. I'm going to send this to the repeater as well so I can keep it, so I can store it for later, maybe I need to change something. And for this request, let's see what happens. It says uploaded. It seems like it kept the PHP file name and all of a sudden we have the name of the next, or the password of the next challenge. So that wasn't tremendously hard, was it? No, it wasn't. Let's see if it works. Bring up 13 here, put this on my clipboard. And not that 13 and then Go. That did not work, probably because I have an extra space at the end of the password. And there we are, next challenge. Now, easy challenge, we just upload a file, we replace the file with some PHP code, we say the content disposition type to be application PHP, we change the file name to PHP, and all of a sudden we were done. Uh, other things I want to focus on here for you to take back with you is that, look, this header here, this application.php, this could be a whitelist from the server side, so they could reject this based on my content type here. And I have word lists with all of the different types of content types, so I can see which one goes through the whitelist and which one does not. So that is interesting. Uh, we might have the file name also be, like, we might have to say, we, we might not have the ability to change it beyond .jpg. Uh, in some older systems, we might be able to inject null bytes, like a percent zero zero. And then do like a, so it will be like a .php present zero zero, and we can have a .jpg in the end. But we don't really see a lot of those vulnerabilities anymore. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, next video of level thirteen will be up soon, I guess. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.